Everyone's here in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch. With 69 base characters and two confirmed DLC fighters, Ultimate bears one of the largest and most diverse rosters of any fighting game. We still have four unannounced DLC fighters in the first Challenger pack, so I put together a list of my top five DLC fighters that I'd like to see in Smash Ultimate. If you're excited for the upcoming DLC, or if you've been enjoying Smash Ultimate already, leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. If you have been playing the game, then let me know who's your favorite character so far in the comments below. Before I start with the list, I just want to briefly acknowledge the fact that Joker from Persona 5 has already been officially announced as the first DLC fighter for Smash Ultimate. I never saw this coming, and I cannot express how excited I am about having one of my favorite game series of all time finally get some representation in Smash Bros. I will absolutely be maining Joker once he's in the game, but until then, let's speculate on who the other four DLC fighters could be. Here's my top five Smash Ultimate DLC fighters. When asked about the decision to include Joker in the game, Nintendo of America President Reggie fils said that his inclusion is, quote, emblematic of the approach that Mr. Sakurai and his team are taking with the DLC, and that Sakurai is, quote, not only a student of Nintendo franchises, but he's a student of video games from a total perspective. I tried really hard to get into the Sakurai mindset when picking this first character. He clearly wants to add somebody who's really unique and that nobody is really expecting and it seems like the majority of those fighters would probably mean third party. So that's why the first character on this list is Fallout's Vault Boy. Bet you weren't expecting that one, huh? Vault Boy fits the bill when it comes to iconic, unique, and unexpected potential DLC fighters for Smash Ultimate. Despite his origin being from a video game about surviving an apocalyptic wasteland, Vault Boy is full of pep and cheer, as well as an arsenal of tools at his disposal. I think that keeping Vault Boy as a 2D character similar to Mr. Game & Watch and utilizing that in his moveset would make him a pretty unique fighter. Using items and animations from Fallout Shelter, such as weapons or bottle caps, would really help fill out the rest of his moves as well. I think a perfect final smash for Vault Boy would be an alarm counting down as a nuclear missile locks onto the stage and maybe Vault Boy can go hide in a bunker as well. I don't know, I just feel like Sakurai and his team would have a lot of fun designing moves for a fighter as unique as Vault Boy, and I think that even though it's kind of a stretch and it's a bit of a crazy pick and you guys might think that it's not possible, I would really love to see Vault Boy as a DLC fighter. Okay, so as far as random, out-of-left-field picks go, I'm gonna stick with just the one, so the rest of these picks might be a little bit more reasonable. So at number four, we have Banjo and Kazooie. This duo has been at the forefront of many Smash Bros. newcomer discussions, and with head of Xbox Phil Spencer's desire to see the two in Smash himself, all the pieces are falling into place. Including Banjo and Kazooie in Smash Ultimate could revive their franchise and possibly bring new Banjo titles to the Nintendo Switch. The duo would probably play somewhat similarly to Duck Hunt, with Banjo as the main fighter and Kazooie assisting during certain moves. However, I feel as though the similarities to Duck Hunt would end with that as the special moves would really set Banjo and Kazooie apart. There's a whole slew of moves and transformations to pick from, including a walrus, crocodile, dragon, and my favorite, a washing machine. As far as the final smash goes, I feel that incorporating the Jinjos would work pretty well, maybe even something resembling the ending of the very first game. Banjo and Kazooie are honestly beginning to fade into obscurity as they've failed to appear in any new games of their own, and I feel like including them in Smash Ultimate would give them the representation that they deserve. Keeping with the theme of third-party fighters, I wanted to pick a character that shares a similar iconic status as my last two picks, but is much more likely to actually make it into the final roster. At number three, we have Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Sora checks a lot of the boxes that we've seen Sakurai use before. Iconic game series? Check. Iconic weapon? Check. And most importantly, very popular in Japan? Check. With Sakurai's desire to include more third-party fighters, I think that Sora is probably near the top of his list. Kingdom Hearts is massively popular here in the States, but even more so in Japan, and with Kingdom Hearts 3 on the horizon, there's really no better time to add Sora into Smash Bros. With his iconic Keyblade in hand, Sora would make an excellent addition to the game, hopefully bringing along some of his friends. How crazy would it be to see Donald, Goofy, and Mickey Mouse join the fight as part of Sora's final smash? You could not ask for a more ambitious crossover. The craziest part is that this could actually happen. 
But to be completely honest, Disney probably wouldn't let Nintendo use Mickey and Friends, but just having the possibility makes me incredibly excited. Sora is only at number 3 in my list, but I feel like he might have the best shot of anybody on here. This next pick probably won't surprise many of you at all, since I have talked about him before in one of my past videos. At number 2 we have Captain Toad. On my last Smash video, I had a lot of people saying that Captain Toad can't jump, so there's no way that he could be in Smash. But as far as I know, Piranha Plants can't jump either, so you know what? I think we have a pretty good shot. The majority of his moves would revolve around using different items that he could have stashed away in his backpack, including a pickaxe or a turnip to attack other fighters. I feel like he could have a side special that could have him speeding down a track in a small minecart, somewhat similar to Bowser Jr.'s dash attack. And his final smash could even incorporate Toadette or Wingo for a flashy attack. Captain Toad is one of the few remaining Nintendo characters that would make for an interesting new fighter, although I could think of at least one more. And overall, I just feel that if Sakurai and Nintendo were going to pick another Nintendo character to join the roster, it would probably be somebody like Captain Toad. Sakurai has expressed his desire to include new and unique fighters, but he also knows that Smash Ultimate is a reflection of the gaming industry and where it began. That's why the number one character on my list is none other than Crash Bandicoot. With the release of the Insane Trilogy on the Switch in 2017, and Nintendo's goal to get every iconic video game character from the 90s in one video game, I think there's no better PlayStation icon to include than Crash Bandicoot. Fans have come up with plenty of viable movesets for the Bandicoot, ranging from his iconic spin attack and belly flop, to references to Crash Team Racing and even Skylanders. I feel like we could even throw Spyro the Dragon in there somewhere with his final smash. Just like Sonic and Banjo, Crash would represent an entire platform as a PlayStation rep. Including Crash Bandicoot and Smash Ultimate alongside other iconic characters will represent just how far games have come, and how gamers thrive most when there's a sense of community. And there you have it, my top 5 Smash Ultimate DLC fighters. If you want to see somebody join the battle that wasn't mentioned in this video, be sure to leave a comment below letting me know, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Also hit that notification bell because my sub boxes are not doing so great, they're not sending out my videos apparently, but if you want to be notified make sure to hit that bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.